Good evening, welcome to the show. I'm Greg Lee. Let's see what's making news. Hey, look who we found in Malibu. It was Joe Montana and Jerry Rice. Quite simply, the greatest pass and catch combo there ever was in the NFL, and maybe ever will be. Super Bowl champs, MVPs, Sunday heroes from their glory days with the 49ers, but this week, just two kids again, playing a playful pickup game as dusk approached near the campus of Pepperdine University. It's been good. We're, we're, we're getting kind of gypped on the score a little bit, but we're working our way back. It feels pretty good. We're having a good time. You know, it's pretty competitive and trying to show some explosion out there. Uh, Montana, I would say his arm is still on fire. The legendary pair teamed up with current and former NFL players as well as celebrities to promote the release of a new video game. The players also took time to teach football skills and healthy habits to about 500 middle school students. For the Hall of Famers though, this game was a chance to reconnect for old time's sake. Both Joe and Jerry are in their 40s now, raising families. Their days of high profile headline making fading now, and they sure don't miss waking up sore on Monday mornings either. How are you feeling running out there again? Oh, slow. <laughs> slow, slow, slow. I feel good, real good. I'm running in tennis shoes. I feel real explosive. Marshall Fault, you know, I ran by him like he was just standing still. But on a perfect July afternoon in Malibu, look at their faces. Seem familiar? It certainly should. Greg Lee, KTLA News. Most walls take friends apart, but for Burnquist and Wave, this wall is where the friendship started and still continues. Corey Ricks has really been the standout for this squad, along with Maurice Torres. Ricks, 17 kills in the last match against Stanford when the Wave swept the number two team in the nation. That large part can be attributed to Lauren Jackson, the point guard, has just run the show for the Waves early, averaged 16 points per game. This eight game losing streak in conference, just six. The Rays Adobe was deemed a historical landmark by the city of Los Angeles in 1983. Agora Hill residents are going to get a chance to experience what it was like living in the 1800s. In just a few days, these seats will be filled with parents and friends excited to see about a month of hard work that the groups have put into the project. Welcome to Man Waves. That was a wonderful new open mic, Beta. Well done. Hey, it's been a long time coming, long time since we've been on air, so we're glad to be back with you. So without further ado, we even dressed up for you tonight. After the break, we got lots of things to talk about in sports and a special game courtesy of Z Will. So stick around, Man Waves will be right back after this. And I'm Greg Lee, and we've got a show full of wave sports to be thankful for, so let's not waste a minute. The Pepperdine men's basketball team can finally kick that pesky monkey off their back. The elusive W has finally been reached to get their season going. British Prime Minister Gordon Brown appointed Belgium's Prime Minister as the first president of Europe earlier today. We have all the details coming up next. Here in the U.S., a key congressional committee is taking a preventative look at the Fort Hood shootings that occurred two weeks ago. Well, a proposal to outlaw the declawing of animals will be presented at the Beverly Hills City Council tonight. Well, that does it for our last broadcast of this semester. Be sure to tune in again next January, every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. From all of us here, my last show at News Waves, I'm Greg Lee. Showtime is over. It's showtime! Over. Hey, have a great night. See you next time. Woohoo! One, two, three, two! One, two, three, three! The Army's given me a lot. The sun is yet to rise, but Richard Nye is already hard at work. Today, a fitness test to assure peak physical condition required of all soldiers in the U.S. Army. Sergeant Nye is a member of the Army Reserve here in Los Angeles, where he works and trains and has gained the respect of his superiors. Excellent soldier, career driven. I mean, we're going to really miss him when he goes active duties. Sergeant Nye shares a little bit about his beginning in the Army. I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do after high school yet. I didn't think I was ready for college. I wanted to mature a little bit. So um, I did that. I joined the reserves thinking it was just going to be a one-time deal. I was just going to do this to pay for college. I got overseas, um, spent a year over there, um, sometime in Kuwait, sometime in Iraq. In just a few short months, Richard will return to active duty to redeploy. What makes Richard different from other servicemen and women? Well, when he's not working at the reserve, he's in a classroom much like this one, working towards a degree from Pepperdine University. And he's not the only one. As the economy declines, more and more students are looking to the Army for a sense of stability. Stability in the form of tuition assistance up to 100% and loan repayment at one-third of a loan for each year of full-time duty with a maximum of $65,000. So why does the Army support their students? The more educated a soldier is, the better soldier that they're, they're going to be. There's no other way about it. Student soldiers are not only getting a head start in their career, but help financing their education. 
it gives you um, money for college, so if you want to continue your education. Uh, sometimes we have enlistment bonuses, like right now, you know, if you're a, a high school grad and you decide to join the Army Reserves, you could get an enlistment bonus of like 20000 That's current. It could change, but that's what it is right now. For Richard, the Army has not only provided financial support, but a new sense of discipline in school. Getting my work done, getting my homework done, going to class, um, never missing out, being respectful um, is definitely a big thing. And, and that goes a long way in school to uh, take more pride in your work and in yourself. As Sergeant Nye prepares to finish his service with his unit and to deploy, the Army recently honored him with the Army Commendation Medal for meritorious service. Soon to follow, he'll receive another award, his diploma from Pepperdine University. His tremendous achievements have certainly not gone unnoticed by those around him. Oh, like a mother. I mean, proud of my son. Yeah. The Army has become a family, a source of pride, and a life for Richard Nye. It's really meant a lot to me, possibly more than any other thing I've done in my life next to my family. The Army means that much to me. Greg Lee reporting.